Morning YouTube, it is 5.20 in the morning. Hope you're doing okay. Um, today's topic is uh, exercise triggers learning. Way too early for that Higgs proson space, the electrons light. The magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors, radiation, our mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? So scientists have been studying uh, the effects of exercise, which exercise has been touted as being generally good for us. Uh, but what they decided to do is they decided to look at the brain uh, and the effects of uh, exercise on the brain. What they've come to realize is that um, when you're exercising and, and to get this effect you have to exercise at 60% of your max effort or 70% of your max effort or something like that. Uh, so whether it be running or um, I think they studied running. So they, they did brain scans and they found that uh, this exercise reduces the amount of uh, gamma amino butyric acid, uh, which is responsible for uh, inhibiting inhibiting brain activity um, and so what does that mean so that means that you know when you when you do this exercise uh, your brain is more um, what they call plastic uh, plasticity uh, where the brain can uh, so your, your brain is forming uh, connections all the time um, and the connections that you use more often get strengthened and so this chemical sort of helps with um, uh, the, the the chemical itself inhibits the strengthening of pathways and the the change in movement of pathways and so by reducing that chemical that uh, gamma immunobutyric acid um, you allow the brain to, to to function more to have more connections to create more of those connections and so and this is only in the motor cortex, and the motor cortex is what controls your, your physical, physical body. So what they're finding is that after exercise, this motor cortex um, has more ability to uh, change, grow, and develop uh, its neurons. So <clears throat> what, what does this allow us to do? So it'd be really nice if <laughs> it was more than just the motor cortex so that, you know, I can go get smarter just by going to exercise. Uh, doesn't really quite work that way, but it is uh, leading us to believe that those of us that, um, those individuals that have gone through paralysis or some kind of uh, motor cortex damage or uh, damage to our um, physical abilities because of neural pathways or whatever the case may be, if, if, uh, if we can get those individuals to exercise at 60% their max or may even just varying levels that might help that individual to stimulate growth in the mortal cortex and regain some of their lost ability. That's the idea, that's the theory anyway, that they want to push forward with this. Um, not sure how far along they are with that uh, or what they would have to do because uh, a lot of times you know people people that have lost certain motor function uh, their muscles atrophy, the muscles get stiff, and they start to lose um, capability. And so getting getting any kind of motion just gets difficult, but it might be that you just start with a little bit, and that allows for a little more motion, that allows for a little more development in the motor cortex, uh, and then, you know, slowly it starts building up. And so it it's it's a fun, it's, it's a neat little uh, correlation that they found. <clears throat> I've always... I've always thought about, you know, what is it, what if we could, <laughs> if I could take my brain, pull it out of my head, stick it in a jar, you know, then I wouldn't have to worry about the rest of this all the time, uh, you know, because with eating and sleeping and all these activities, sometimes it gets to be a bit much. What if it just took my brain, stuck it in a jar, plugged the USB and connected me to the internet? Uh, what would that be like? And would that even be possible? That's the thing. It's like... I've always felt like uh, the brain is the way it is because part of what it has to do is control this physical body. And without this physical body, the brain 
wouldn't necessarily develop to the way that it is. Um, so I don't know that you could grow as a brain in a jar and still be as smart as we are, as humans are. Um, I think you need that physical stimulus to, to, um, to trigger brain growth and therefore a lot of our intelligence and development have to do with how we treat our bodies. Um, and so this is really the first time in research that has come anywhere close to that thought that I had years ago. Uh, and it is only in the motor cortex, the part of the brain that controls physical, uh, physical motion, but all things being connected the way they are, I think that there are impacts of exercise to parts of the brain beyond the motor cortex. I think, you know, um, <clears throat> because of that interconnectedness, there, there's got to be effects. And so maybe they'll do more research to see how exercise affects other parts of the brain, That'd be all cool and dandy. Um, I think it supports the notion that uh, you know you should stay you should keep active, keep exercising, whatever it is that you want to do. You know, it, it doesn't have to be doing weights and and doing yoga, although yoga is is good good activity. Um, walking around, uh, you know, just, just keeping active, uh, doing some kind of physical activity, any kind of physical activity is good for you. Um, and again, I, I think it stimulates intelligence. So, um, but science hasn't caught up with my ideas yet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there you have it. Uh, exercise, you know, I'm having trouble with the topic today. Uh, exercise induces intelligence. That's not what it is. It's, uh, and even writing it down, I didn't write it down right. Um, what? Uh, workout for the mind? I, I don't know. Whatever the topic is today, I got to head off to work. <laughs> you got to go do whatever it is you do. Uh, I'll talk to you next time. Today's topic is, uh, learn, uh, what? Exercise. <laughs> back up, back up. The purpose of this chemical is to inhibit, um, inhibit what? Inhibit the, uh, um, ugh, really? <laughs> okay, uh, back up again. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, <laughs> um, one chemical that I forget the name of, it's something long and obnoxious, but the... Um, Robert Aquino, you're the one.